All right, guys, listen in. Let's cover today's workout. It's five rounds. Rest as you need to. Try to keep those rest periods short if you do rest. Starts off doing 100 yards on a farmer's walk. If you don't have two weights, either two dumbbells or two kettlebells, one will work just fine. I have one with me here. For that walk, you have to do 100 yards. So if you have one, you're trying to keep everything neutral. Your hips, your spine neutral. You're just walking 50 yards with one side, switch, walking 50 yards with the other side. Be careful when you do this that you're not shifting those hips. You want to keep perfectly neutral and upright, okay? So do 100 yards at the beginning of each round there. After that, we've got 20 flat pullovers. So whether you have a kettlebell or dumbbell, you're going to come on some type of bench or platform if you have it. You're going to extend back. You're going to bring those arms, pit off the shoulders. Get that stretch as you come back. Bring that weight right over the chest. So here, extend back. Bring that weight right over the chest. Be careful not to really let that rib cage open up. Keep those abs squeezed tight so it ensures your spine staying neutral. You're going to do 20 of those. After that, you got to do an alternating snatch. If you have a kettlebell, it's going to be a little bit harder. You have to get that little flick of the wrist to get that rotation so it doesn't slam on you. But either way, you're going to start on the ground. You're going to explode up, catch it, and bring it all the way to the top. So come down here, explode up, bring it up to the top. So here and back to the top. You have to do reps on both sides. So right left equals two though, so it's 10 per side. Lastly, you go back to that weight, hammer curls, grab it by the ears, elbows tucked, you're coming all the way up, all the way down. You have to do 20 reps on that too. If you guys have questions, comment, message us, we'll help you.